Excavation Life. I've got a great machine. I love this next generation machine, but I'm having issues with it. I feel like it's really jerky. I feel like I don't have control of the machine. Well, let me show you something here. Under your automatic settings here, okay, you're always going to want to turn off your boom assist. You don't want boom assist, okay? But if you come into your assist settings, okay, you can change these things. Great assist, okay? My settings is for boom down operation configuration is auto, okay? Boom assist, inactive. I don't want it. Response rate, startup, quick. Okay, overcut prevention, inactive. If you don't want this machine to stop you, you're gonna want this, okay? It's gonna help you out a lot. Another big thing you can do to help is come into your menu settings, okay? And I'll come back from the home screen. Come down to your bucket and work tool settings. Select your bucket. Make sure that your bucket is correct, okay? It's very important that you're using the right bucket. Okay, don't touch any of this shit. You will mess up. Come down here, assist fine tune calibration. All right, and just for shits and gigs, I'm gonna show you a dynamic, all right? Notice my hydraulic temperature is not where it needs to be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna begin Cycling the machine until it gets to where it needs to be. Okay, we're right at 122. Go past it. Go to like 127 or 128, okay? So it's going to tell, tell us, bucket out, full boom out, with the bucket angle at between negative five and five degrees. All right there is perfect, okay? With the bucket 60 inches above the ground. All right, semi-automatic calibration is now active, providing stick lever in command. I'm going to slightly pull, I'm going to pull all the way back on the left stick. Notice that green light start to flash on the screen. This is the machine doing its calibration, okay? Now, it's telling you, providing stick lever out, okay? You're gonna do this four times. This is letting the machine know what the bucket feels like on the machine. It's taking multiple different readings, okay? Getting a good feel for what it's got out there. Now I'm pushing the stick out. I've done this several times, but you can wait until it tells you what to do or you can just do it. This is a very, you'll see from the video how long this process is, but it's a very good process to do. It's going to help you with uh, finding out that hop, if you know what I'm saying.
you keep doing it until it tells you to do something different. Check conditions. You're done with that step. We're at a hydraulic temperature of 133 degrees. We're within conditions. Hit OK. Same thing again. Bucket full out. In between that 5 degree. Alright, we're there. Once that bucket approximately 60 inches off the ground. Okay. Providing stick lever in command will start semi-automatic control. My hand's right here, okay? I'm just holding back on that left stick. It's doing its own thing. succeeded release lever checking conditions we're meeting our conditions again make sure you meet all your conditions stick in me to put it out all right I've done these many many times so I may be going too fast for you but it will it'll tell you here I'll I won't do it so fast this time log succeeded okay now it wants you to go in I just know that after it says log succeeded you can just do it you'll do these once you do them uh, you'll do them multiple times trust me Definitely always make sure everybody's clear of the area because when you're doing this, you cannot stop it. Last cycle. One more time in and one more time out. Then we'll go on to the fourth one. <clears throat> Log succeeded, all right. We're still within our conditions. Bucket full out. We're still within our conditions. For the fourth step, providing stick lever in, okay? Really the whole process should take you about anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. Depending on how fast you move through the settings and if your machine's already warmed up. This is going to give you the most, uh, I don't know how to say that, it's, it's going to make it perform better under automatics than what it would normally without any of these. Most machines don't have these. Alright, it's going to ask you how you want to save this. 
you do want to save this as an individual because it's an individual calibration to that bucket, okay? Complete, done. 10 minutes.